Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to show you how I make my favorite ever breakfast oats because together with smoothie bowls, oats are like my favorite ever breakfast and it's getting a little colder here in Cape Town so I love having oats but you know you can also have them in summer because they're like really filling but so healthy at the same time. The oats that I'm going to make today are quite simple because I don't like putting too many things in because it just gets complicated. And I'm gonna make some coconut banana creamy oats so they get like nice and creamy, which I just love when oats are nice and creamy. <laughs> so here are the ingredients that I'm gonna use. So this is just for the oats. We're gonna talk about the toppings later on. I am gonna use a big packed cup of oats. And um, this is gonna be for two people. But you know, obviously if you just want to make it for one person, you just have all of the ingredients. So I'm gonna use a big cup of oats, one banana, which I'm gonna mash into the oats, some cinnamon, some coconut milk. I'm obviously not gonna use the whole thing, but you'll see later on how much I'm gonna use. So, And some agave syrup nectar to sweeten the whole thing. So I'm gonna start off by putting the oats into the cup. And I'm also gonna put some water, which I've previously boiled. So I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna start off with one and a half cups, but you know, you like always keep adding. If you see there's not enough water, you just keep adding it along the way. So this is one cup. I think it's quite a lot of oats. I'll make it like two cups. Two cups of boiling water because that way it cooks quicker. I think yeah, one and a half. One and a half cups. <laughs> and I'm gonna switch on the stove. So I'm just gonna stir it around a little bit and just wait for it to start cooking. So in the meantime, whilst my oats are starting to cook, I'm gonna peel this banana and mash it. This banana has lots of spots, which means it's gonna be nice and sweet. Because if you get like the green ones that are really hard to peel, they're gonna be unripe and not taste good. Okay, so I'm just gonna mash this banana so you know it goes nicely in notes. So yeah, this should do. And now we're gonna go back to the oats. Okay, so this hasn't been cooking for very long and I can already tell that the water is not going to be enough so I'm going to end up using the last bit I put in the cup before and just add a little bit more because you really want the oats to soak up the water like the liquid because that way, you know, it's going to be really filling. Okay, now that the water is kind of cooked in a little bit, I'm going to use some coconut milk because coconut milk makes the oats really nice and creamy. So I'm gonna use, this is for two people. So I'm gonna use like three tablespoons. You can use as much as you want. If you don't want that much coconut milk, you can obviously just use like a teaspoon. So I'm mixing that in as well. And it already looks so much creamier than before. Now, next up, I'm gonna use our agave syrup to add a bit of sweetness. And with this, I just really, you know, ran, put like a random amount, so this much. I can't really tell you, maybe this is like two teaspoons, I suppose. You can always put more or less depending on how sweet you like your oats. And then I'm just gonna add the cinnamon. Of course, it's optional. If you don't like cinnamon, you don't have to put cinnamon, but it's really nice. Just a little bit of cinnamon, maybe half a teaspoon if you want a guideline. So as you can see, they're already quite a nice consistency. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn the heat down because they do become a bit thicker as you know, you let them cool down and then Last step is to add the banana. I don't do it in the beginning because I don't kind of want the banana to lose its nutrients by like overcooking it. So just kind of add the banana and mix it with the rest of the oats. So now I'm gonna put the ready oats into this bowl, which I painted myself. Okay, 
Okay, so now comes the fun part, which is decorating your oats with toppings. And you can basically use any toppings of your choice, but I've found that there's some things that work really well. For example, something sweet and something crunchy, which is really nice to put on top of your oats. I am going to use some half of a banana, which I cut into little slices, um, three dates, which I cut up into little pieces, which are great to sweeten the whole thing up, some mulberries for some crunch, but you can also use any granola of your choice, and some cacao nibs, just because I'm currently absolutely obsessed with cacao nibs. And we're also gonna put some more coconut milk and cinnamon on top. So first of all, I'm just gonna add another tablespoon of coconut milk over. Just because it tastes really good. And then I'm also just going to add a tiny bit of shredded coconut flakes. Okay, so now I can finally give the oats a try and taste test. Okay, so they turned out really, really nicely because thanks to the banana and the coconut milk, they're really nice and creamy. And you know, together with the cacao nibs, the mulberries, and the shredded coconut, it's a really nice crunch on top. So I love these. This is my current favorite breakfast at the moment. Super delicious and super healthy. So you have to try it out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and let me know if you want to see more recipe videos. See you soon. Bye bye. Are you excited to finally eat, Alex? Uh, yeah, I can finally eat the second portion, which is apparently meant to come. <laughs> Leftovers. Apparently, I'm just suffer, suffer and starve while you. <laughs> you was filming the whole time, so I was very hungry. Yeah. Try, you can try the oats and see if their boyfriend approved. Mm -hmm. Try them. Oh. Yeah, just have a Quite bite. Mm -hmm. Fine. Just try it anyway. Oh. Do you like them? Pretty good. I like the banana. <laughs> it's good.